There's a movie that has not been talked about much throughout the past couple decades. It came out in the early 2000s. It was good, Mm -hmm. and I enjoyed it. It's called Osmosis Jones. Essentially, it's this animated movie that is showing what happens inside the body. It's a guy. He's a white blood cell, and he's like a cop. And he's kind of fighting against the virus, the bad guys. And it shows everything that happens inwardly that causes the main character in real life. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it was Bill Murray. I think it was Bill Murray. And I think Chris Rock was the voice of the guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it's got Bill Murray and it's showing like if he's sick, it's showing what's happening inside of the body. And so, yeah, it's a cartoon, but it illustrates an important point. The external behaviors that we have in our life have internal things going on behind Mm, it. That's good. So just like that guy with his physical health, there was a bunch of internal stuff going on to cause it, which is, I mean, it's a true thing, even though it's not animated. Yeah. Uh, In the same way, our life has inward things going on Mm -hmm. that a lot of times, even though we don't see, it's really the root behind good things and bad things. Uh, Being able to look inwardly is important and being able to understand what's going on inwardly is super important. If we don't do that, we're going to end up doing whatever's easiest. Mm -hmm. And whatever's easiest is typically low-level behaviors, low-level appetites, pleasures, almost animalistic um, because we're being driven by these unseen things that we don't understand we don't care to understand, Mm. and it can end up driving us to very unhealthy places. So if we don't build that character by looking inwardly, reflecting, and learning, then we're going to be ended up controlled by our own appetites. So to be men that are strong, not just physically, but in our life, to be able to be men of value that live well, we are going to have to take what we have coined as the inward journey. More about that on today's show. This is the Thriving Man Podcast with David and Reese Maxwell. These weekly shows are designed to help you remove the confusion from your life and make real progress with your growth. No matter where you are or where you're going, we're here to help you live a life you can be proud of. So welcome to the Thriving Man Podcast. Welcome to the Thriving Man Podcast, where our goal is to help you go from survival mode to living a life that you can be proud of. I'm Reese. And I'm David. He's my dad. And we help men grow by adding structure to their lives. So we are talking today about the inward journey. Mm -hmm. Now, that sounds like it it would be like some random Eastern spiritual thing of (laughs) emptying your mind, but that's not what we mean at all. Yeah. You don't have to climb a mountain and find some holy man on the top to tell you something. You don't need to be taught by a guru. Yeah. In fact, I saw a video the other day of uh, some people climbing some high mountain somewhere Mm -hmm. and there's a cat sitting on the top. Just a random cat. That cat would give you a side quest in a heartbeat if you were in sky. So the inward journey is not that. The inward journey is actually something very practical, uh, very simple, Mm -hmm. but necessary. It's the ability to go through the process of learning and understanding what we think, what we Mm. feel, and who we are. Yeah. It takes work. Yeah, it Uh, does. And the path there, the road that's laid out before us is the road of reflection, Yeah, and that's a hard thing for a lot of guys to get a hold of because I think our society has kind of gotten away from reflection, Mm -hmm. where when you look in history, you know, some of the great men of the day were very reflective. You know, they wrote books, they they talked about things. And and what we have to understand is reflection doesn't make you less of a man. It actually helps you become more of the man that you are. Because if you don't reflect, you're just kind of surviving. You're just kind of doing what you do. And and that gets us, I think, in that animalistic, you know, kind of thing of, well, I'm hungry, so I eat. Mm-hmm. I'm angry, so I punch people. You know, and, and it applies to so many areas of our life. But reflection really helps us look at, okay, what's really going on inside of me? Mm-hmm. And that means the inward journey. And that's why we call it that, because it is a journey. It's not easy. It's not just something where you, oh, this is what I'm thinking. It takes a lot of work. Yeah, 
it takes a ton of work. And I think it's important to remember that without it, we will not reach our potential as yeah. men. We yeah. won't. Like you said, we'll mm. fall to those base appetites. We'll be like uh, <laughs> like the pirates from Pirates of the Caribbean. Everyone's just betraying each other, yeah. trying to find prostitutes and drinking themselves <laughs> to death. Like that's where guys go. Yeah. If they don't do any kind of reflection or growth, and yeah. you just kind of fall to a place of moral chaos. Well, and that's, I mean, gosh, look at our society today. A lot mm-hmm. of people, that's their expectation of men, mm-hmm. period. And that's their reflection of men, what they think, oh, that's how all men are. Mm-hmm. It's not. It, it's, you know, you look at many men over history, they were deeply reflective. Men who were powerful, men who were leaders of armies mm-hmm. and other things, but they were very reflective. And that kind of added to who they were as men. And I think that's something we've lost today, and we need to gain it back. Well, you've got such a good point. Reflection not only prevents the bad side of us from going down to our really just base behaviors, mm-hmm. it also adds to our life by helping us connect with purpose. Yeah helping us live out meaning, Mm -hmm. helping us use the skills, the abilities, the gifts that the Lord's given us to make the world better. Every man wants to make the world a better place in some way, shape, or form. Every man wants to make a difference. Without reflection, it's not going to... It's either not going to be possible, Mm -hmm. or it's not going to be the right kind of difference that you're going to end up making. That's a good point. Uh, So these are big concepts. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's easier to just do what other people have done. We talked about that on our September 4th podcast about, you know, a lot of people just take what other people have done and don't have something custom. Mm -hmm. Reflection, the inward journey takes time, but it's worth it. Now let's talk about why guys typically don't do it. If it's so Mm -hmm. beneficial, if it helps prevent the bad, if it helps add a lot to your life and make yeah. you good and, and live beyond, you know, and into your potential, yeah. why don't, why doesn't everybody do it? Yeah, it's true. Um, Reflection is one of those things. A lot of guys hear you talk about it and the inward journey. What, what, why would I want to do that? And, and one of the reasons a lot of guys don't, it just takes time and effort. Mm. It, it takes energy. Um, reflection and going on the inward journey is deciding you're going to play the long game. That's so true. There's no quick wins. Mm-mm. You know, like like if you want to lose weight, you can do quick diets and lose a bunch of weight. But you have to decide to change your nutrition if you really want that long-term success. Yeah. As a man, if you really want to know yourself, if you want to have values, if you want to have purpose – The only way that's going to happen is for you to take the time and do the effort to really go on that inward journey, to really figure out what is my purpose? Mm. Why am I here? That's work. Um, And it's not a quick win like getting a check. Mm -hmm. Getting checks are easy when you have a job. And so you go to work, you get the check, you do this, you do that. It's a quick win. Yeah. Reflection doesn't always give those quick wins. It's one of those things that helps you kind of figure out the why behind everything you're doing. I love that you said it takes time and effort. Mm -hmm. That's two things that guys really don't like having to spend. Yeah. We don't want to spend time on stuff. We don't want it to take a lot of effort, Mm -hmm. you know, unless it's on something that we feel like doing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's necessary. Yeah. I think of even something as simple as when you're growing up and you're learning like, what do you want to do when you grow up? Yeah. What's funny, a lot of people never actually answer that question mm-hmm. because they don't reflect. Yeah. They just do what mom and dad told them to do. They do what the teacher told them to do. They do what the university said to do. They do whatever pays the most. Yeah. And they don't actually take that inward journey. Mm-hmm. And so they just go to whatever, wherever they end up. Yeah. And the truth is, we have the freedom to reflect and to connect with that truth and then live that out. Well, and a lot of guys who don't do that, they're the ones who they have what we call the midlife crisis. That's so true. Yeah. You know, they, they hit that, you know, early forties, mid forties, and they're like, Hey, um, I don't like this. I'm Mm -hmm. not going to do this anymore. And they completely up in their life. Why? Because they finally got to a point where they actually reflected a little bit Mm -hmm. 
and they figured out I've been living for the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not I'm not saying it's right to do that because a lot of times they leave a lot of pain to the people in their lives. Yeah, but they, they don't fully reflect. No, they don't. They they do surface level reflection, mm-hmm. and they're like, hmm. I don't like this. And they don't go any deeper. Yeah. They're just yeah. like, I don't like this. And I like young women. So I'm going to go after this <laughs> yep. college chick and give her money. You know? And yep. you're like, well, let's actually take the full journey here. I know. They don't know. do the inward journey. They do the inward check-in. Yeah. And then they just leave. Well, and that's that's kind of another thing that happens to us as guys is we expect these outside things to change us on the inside. Right. So the guy's in his mid-40s, I'm going to buy a Porsche, I'm going to start dating a 21-year-old, that's going to fix me. No, it's not. Uh, people are going to make fun of you. Uh, you know, things like that are going to happen. We always think the outside thing's going to change us. You know, this diet is going to make me better. You know, there was a thing that came out pretty big a while back, 75 hard, mm-hmm. where a bunch of us did it, I did it, a bunch of people did it. You do these 75 days, you have challenges you do every day for 75 days. And it was hard. Mm -hmm. It was very hard. Um, And those are good things to challenge you. But if you don't internalize those, if you don't reflect on those, if you don't really figure out what's going on, they won't change you. You'll just add maybe a level of discipline to your life to be able to do something, but it's short term. Right. And it doesn't bring long term change. I heard a quote yesterday. Somebody said, change is not an event. It is a process, Mm -hmm. but an event can begin the process of change. That's good. That's really, really good. I know. I thought it was very powerful. Yeah. Uh, But it's true. Like, yes, we all need that thing to jumpstart us. Yes. But the thing that jumpstarts us is not the end. It's the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. It's the start of a new path. And that's how it is with the inward journey. It takes time. It takes effort. It is a process. Yeah. So a lot of guys don't want to do it. Yeah. The second reason I think a lot of guys don't like the inward journey, it's not very flattering. No, it's it's really like if you want to be prideful, don't take the inward journey. (laughs) Like uh, if you want to just be like, well, here's the the old saying, ignorance is bliss. Uh huh. I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. You know, I just take the easy path at the cost of my wife and children. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to ignore that. You yeah. know, we're not going to pay attention to that. It's fine. I, uh, yeah, I don't spend any time with my kid, but I give them money. I, hey, I'm physically present at the house. There's yeah. a lot of parents that aren't physically present. So I'm pretty good. So we never actually take that inward path of like, yeah, what am I actually doing? Why am I actually doing it? What are my strengths and my weaknesses? Mm-hmm. That stuff's not super flattering, but we need it. Well, and that's it. We have to figure out, if I'm going to go on this journey, I have to have some brutal honesty about myself, about my life. Maybe I'm a people pleaser. Mm. And so in my life, I'm, I find myself pleasing other people and maybe ignoring the people most important to me. I was talking with someone recently who, uh, it, was a, it was a woman whose husband was bedbound. And she was taking care of him and he was reflecting on his life before he passed away. And he talked about... Why did I stay so long at work so much? Mm. Why didn't I come home earlier? Because he used to stay late a lot of times and do stuff. And it was just one of those things. He started reflecting. He had time to reflect. And he figured out that wasn't very smart. And I think what we want to do is purposely build that into our life Mm -hmm. so we don't have those regrets later. We can learn early and go, hey, wait a minute. I, I see myself going this way and I need to course correct. Absolutely, yes. And that's what reflection can help you do. When you course correct, you may see something that's ugly. You may see greed. You may see lust. You may see anger, and you don't like it. Mm -hmm. But the point is you can do something about it before Mm -hmm. it goes too far. You can say, okay, I'm going down a bad path here. Mm -hmm. Let me me pull back. Yeah. You know, like the guy at work who, okay, wait, I'm getting a little too friendly with this coworker who's not my wife. If you don't reflect, you just enjoy the flirting. Mm. But if you're a person who's reflecting, you're talking, okay, wait a minute. I need to back off this because it could be dangerous. That's what reflecting does. Sometimes it shows us some honesty that we don't like. It's not flattering. But sometimes we need that. We need that that honesty because then we can correct and fix things before they bring real damage. Yeah. 
Yeah. So people will avoid it because it's not flattering. Yeah. But yeah. we don't need to be flattered into our own self destruction. Yep. We need to, we yeah. need to have some wake up calls. Yeah. And the inward journey helps with that. It does. It really, it does. really does. I love that illustration of course correcting. Mm-hmm. It's so true. The third reason people a lot of times avoid the inward journey, it's not laid out clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I get it. We like structure. Mm-hmm. We want to know what the rules of the game are so we can win. Whether that's a sport or that's a video game or maybe that's a musical piece. Yeah. We want to know like, hey, what's right? What's the right way to do this? And I want to do it better yeah. than yeah. you and you and you and you. You know, that's a lot of the reason we go to these hobbies and these video games is there's that structure and that sense of progress. The issue with that with the inward journey Every person's different. Mm -hmm. The thing that you need to work on is going to be different than what I need to work on. And the thing that I need to work on will change over time. Mm -hmm. It it may be uh, stopping a bad habit. It may be starting a good habit. It may be reframing the way I view this relationship or the reframing the way I view myself. It may be I'm doing too much. It may be I'm not doing enough. Yeah. And it's almost like a surfboard to where you're like you're you're balancing and there's all these factors going into it. Yeah. It's it's just as much an art as it is a science. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we're like, I just don't feel like that. I've got yeah. enough stuff in my life that's not predictable. Let's not add one more thing. But we have to, guys. It's so worth it. Well, and if you're walking through the woods. It's much easier to walk on a trail that's already there than to make your own trail. And I think I think when we go on that inward journey, we're making our own trail. Yeah. We're having to cut the bushes away. We're having to clear things. That is hard work. It just mm-hmm. is. And there's no clear trail for you to follow. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because as you cut the trail – you take ownership of the trail. Mm. It's your trail. You're building it. And you figure out, oh, wait a minute. I started going this way. Let me let me go back this way a little bit. Mm. So it becomes your personal trail that you can walk on, that you can live through. And that's really what you want to do. The point of the inward journey is not just for you to kind of sit in a you know circle, stare at your belly button and cry over your emotions. It's a point where you understand this is my purpose. This is what I'm really about. This is the area I need to work on. Mm. This is where I'm at in my life. A lot of guys could never answer that. You ask, hey, where are you at in your life? They're going to talk about money. They're going to talk about uh, their status. But they don't really reflect and say, okay, what am I really here for? Mm. What's my purpose? What is my passion? Because they've never reflected on it. They've never built that trail. Yeah. And the key word there is a journey. Mm Mm-hmm. It takes time. And we talked about that as to why people don't do it. But I want to give you another example to help reframe it. Think of it almost as a skill. Mm. When you reflect and you begin to learn yourself, you begin to learn what you're good at, what you're not good at. You begin to learn what you do like and what you don't like. You begin to learn how you respond to different scenarios. It's like a skill that serves you. Mm. It's almost like... Well, getting stronger, you know, getting physically stronger, it takes time to build up physical strength. Yeah. And it takes effort to maintain that physical strength. But when you do, a lot of other things in your life become easier. Mm. All of a sudden, clearing out that garage doesn't hurt your back. Yeah. yeah. You know, all of a sudden, that thing that you would have avoided because it's heavy, you can handle it. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, you know how to lift this thing without hurting yourself. That's good. It, it's kind of like that with the inward journey. Once you develop this skill and you work to maintain it, it will serve you in almost every area of your life. Yeah. The way you relate to people, the way you relate to yourself, the confidence level you have, all of these different things that we'll, we'll probably mention in a minute will grow because you have developed this skill. It's not just a means to an end. It's an end in and of itself that causes a chain reaction or transformation in your life. Yeah, and what we want to do is understand that it's it's going to be hard. It just is. The point of a journey is to get to a destination. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't really have necessarily a destination. 
we have the end of our life. And what we want to do is make sure that we're doing what we need to do, where we need to go, because life will end for all of us. Yeah. It just does. No one makes it out alive. Yeah. It's, there will be a day you will not be here anymore. We all will face that day. The point is, what did you do to get to that point? Yeah. That's the journey. What did you do? It's like we talked about a couple of weeks ago. At 75, what are you going to look back on and be glad you did? Yeah. I was just at the World War II Museum down in New Orleans a couple of weeks ago. And one neat thing they have is they have this thing where you can hear stories, guys mm-hmm. on video telling the stories of the war. And these are guys who are probably in their 80s, 90s, who were telling these stories of what they did at 19. Mm-hmm. And you could tell they were glad they did it. Mm. And it was hard. They talked about how hard it was, how rough it was in different situations. But here they were, you know, in their 80s and 90s, not far from leaving this life. And they were reflecting back on it. And they were saying, I'm glad I did that. It made me a better man. I did this. I did that. You know, and and they learned a lot of lessons from it. And that's mm-hmm. what we want to do is take that journey mindset. Yeah, maybe you've done some dumb things. We all have. Yeah, absolutely. But we learn from that and we keep going on the journey. Yeah. We don't want you to get caught in the busyness of life. Mm -hmm. We want you to be able to navigate the busyness of your own life and still live in alignment with what really matters. Yeah. And you're not going to know what really matters until you go on that inward journey. Yeah. Yeah. And that doesn't just look like one thing. It can be a a multifaceted approach. Journaling Mm -hmm. is a huge one. Yeah. Journaling forces you to clarify your thoughts enough to put it down on paper. If you're an overthinker, journaling forces you to slow down enough to focus on one letter at a time. So it's a good way of if you don't reflect at all, it forces you to. Or if you quickly spin out of control, it kind of dials you back. Mm-hmm. Journaling is a great tool for that. It is. It is. You journal, uh, praying, spending time in prayer. Absolutely. Uh, I've known people who will journal their prayers. Mm-hmm. You know, there's different ways to do that, but it's a way to slow yourself down and to think, okay, where am I at? And you let God speak to you. You know, God, where am I at? You know, you can do things like that. And also, Get around a group of guys who feel the same way. Mm -hmm. Guys who want to go on that journey of self-reflection. Guys who want to get better. Y'all can really encourage each other, asking each other questions. These are all tools. I'm not saying you have to do all of them. Mm -hmm. Find the one that fits you. Some people love journaling. Some people hate journaling. Mm -hmm. You know, prayer, that's really something we all need to be doing. That's kind of a given. Um, But having good friends Mm -hmm. can help you. I'm not saying you have to meet with them every day or even Mm -hmm. every week, but you meet with them enough to where you can kind of encourage each other and help each other. Those are good things that we need to do because what those things do is they help us kind of move out of that survival mode in our life. Yeah. We all can get to that point where we're just surviving. And it it makes me think in the movie, uh, what was the movie? Castaway. Yep. With Tom Hanks. He was surviving. He was on an island by himself. All he could think about was surviving. Mm -hmm. So what did he do? He made a volleyball his best friend. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he was in survival mode. A lot of us were living our lives just like that. So you make weird decisions. A volleyball as your friend is weird. I mean, the scene where he lost Wilson Mm -hmm. almost has you in tears. Yep. It was one of the greatest acting scenes ever, but... You know, he's crying over a volleyball, and you think, okay, that's kind of weird. But for a lot of us, when we're in survival mode, we're making these decisions that just aren't good for us. Yeah. Because we're not reflecting. We turn food into Wilson. Yeah. And that's where we go whenever we have a a tough time, or we turn a a game system into Wilson to where we always go to that game system. That's good. Uh, We get weird. We Mm -hmm. do. But the cool thing, It gets me excited, honestly. Mm -hmm. When you take the inward journey, it supports those other basic needs in your life. We talked about that earlier, that when you don't have those basic needs met, I think it was a couple weeks ago, Mm -hmm. when you don't have those basic needs met, you start looking to unhealthy things to fill those. 
And yeah. that's where you start, oh, comparison. He he does this and it seems to work for him. Uh, well, mm-hmm. that looks like that could work or this feels good. So that's got to be yeah. it. And we'll mess ourselves up. But when you take the inward journey, you can live more authentically. Yeah, You're developing the skill of being authentic. Mm-hmm. We live in a world that's full of fake it till you make it. Yeah, posturing and pretending. And when you do that, you can't live authentically. And that, that hurts your relationships. But when you go on the inward journey and you live authentically, mm-hmm. you can connect with your wife better. Yep. You can connect with your kids better. Mm. You can connect with your friends, your brothers yeah. better. You can finally be honest with others because you've learned to be honest with yourself. Yeah, and when you do that, there's a certain amount of confidence that I think comes into your life. Absolutely. I'm living life well. Am I perfect? No, no one's perfect. But I know who I am. I know where I'm going. And that just adds a confidence to your life that I think other people pick up on without you having to say anything. Yeah, because when you reflect, Mm -hmm. you learn not only who you are, but you have learned what you can and cannot control. Yeah, that's good. And that really, I'll tell you this for me personally, that's one of the biggest benefits whenever you go through hard times because you know this is my, this is not my fault, mm-hmm. but I am responsible for healing from this. Yeah. Or yeah. you know like, well, I can't control the fact that my boss just fired me. Mm-hmm. What I can control is what I do here and now. Yeah. That That's a person who's taken the inward journey. Yeah. That's a person who's learned to reflect on who they are and who they're not, what they mm-hmm. can control and what they can't control. So the way that you deal with the hard times of life, not everything has to make you go drink. Not everything has to make you go to a game. Not everything has to make you give up. You can be authentic and say, yeah. hey, this sucks. Yeah, I hate this. But Lord, I'm with you because yeah. you've prayed yeah. or I've processed what I'm really going through. Mm-hmm. You can have that honest conversation with your wife. Yeah. You know, these kind of things, that's the inward journey. It really Benefiting is. other parts of who you are. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. And what we want to do is challenge you to begin to take that journey. Mm-hmm. You say, well, well, Dave, I've never done that. I don't know how. Well, start doing something. Mm-hmm. Start working on what can I do to reflect. Maybe it's just having a time of prayer each day. Mm-hmm. You know, just sitting and praying and talking to God. Mm. And you say, "Well, I've, I've never really done that." Well, how about you read the proverb of the day? Mm-hmm. There's 30 proverbs. You can read one every day. Is it 30, 31, 31, 31? Thank you. Um, I should know that. I got you. Yeah, you okay. got me. But but then you read like you know you say, "Okay, today's the fifth. I'm going to read Proverbs five. And then I'm going to pray through what it talks about and say, okay, is any of that affecting my life? Where Mm -hmm. am I at with that? That's just the beginning process. Mm -hmm. You can try journaling a few times a week, writing down what's going on in your life. It's not a diary. You don't have to write down your meals or anything. You just write down what's happening. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're angry. Maybe you're sad. Uh, Maybe you don't even know what you feel. But as you begin writing, it kind of comes out. Uh, those are things you can do. Get a group of guys together, you know, say, Hey, let's get together and just talk about where we're at. Maybe pray for each other. When you start doing those things, you're going to be amazed at how much more reflecting is going to be going on in your life. So I would just say, pick one of those and start walking down that path. Absolutely. Yes. It's going to take work. Mm -hmm. It's going to take effort, but it will be worth it. I promise you when you develop this skill, and you maintain it, mm-hmm. it will benefit every other area of your life. It just will. Yeah, That's one of our big things here and why we do the four dimensions of success. One of them is that emotional and mental. It is. And it you're one creature. You're one person. So when you grow in that area, it benefits the others. So start that inward journey today, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for listening to the Thriving Man Podcast. If you want to check out more resources from David and Reese, you can go to thrivingman.com. We'll see you in the next episode.